there. I'm your instructor, Dr. Ganter, and each week I'm going to start off with a short intro video on what you should focus on. There's a lot of information in this class, and I want you to know when you're doing the week's work what is really, really important. So let me start sharing my screen, and here we go. In section 1.1, you're going to start with Given a function f of x, find the difference quotient. That's f of x plus h minus f of x over h. Now, when I say video number four, what I'm referring to is in your class, in each week, there's a section called video lesson. And if you click on that, the videos are numbered. And so this is from an old class, so this won't agree with what you're looking at. But if I say watch video number four, that, that means this one I think is particularly good. Now there are short videos within your homework for each problem, almost each problem, but these videos tend to be a little bit longer and um, they tend to be introductory videos. So watch video four on how to find the difference quotient for a polynomial function. And then know the basic shapes of the functions y equals x, that's linear, quadratic, y equals x squared, y equals x cubed. You can read those, I don't have to read them all for you. But these are the building block functions that we'll be working with this semester. Um, and so you need to know how to graph those so that you can graph harder functions. Now I say graph on Desmos if you don't know what those look like right off the bat. Um, let me show you that. Desmos is a free graphing calculator, I love it. Just type in y equals, let's say you've forgotten what um, y equals 1 over x looks like. So go 1 over x. And there, there you go. There's the graph. Make flashcards for those building block functions so that you have them for the rest of the semester. Desmos also acts as a calculator. So suppose you want to know 567 divided by 3. Well, actually, it goes in evenly. It's 189. All right. So let's get back. Section 1.2, you want to be able to find domains of functions, in particular, the domain of a rational function. Now, what's a rational function? Uh, if you don't know what these words are, then it, it just sounds like I'm talking in, in Greek, huh? A rational function is a quotient of polynomials. So, for example, you might want to find the domain of something like y equal x squared plus 3x over um, x cubed minus 2x plus 4. That's a rational function. Quotient of polynomials. Rational think uh, division, dividing. So the division of two polynomials. Um, and then write in both inequality and interval notation. Videos 3 and 4 talk about those two notations. Inequality notation will be for a rational function like um, x not equal to maybe three. And then interval notation, you'll want to write that as an interval. As an interval, that's all the numbers from negative infinity up to three, union, all the numbers from three to infinity. So that's interval notation. Another example of inequality notation is like x between two and three, not including two, but including three. That's inequality. And as an interval, that would be parenthesis 2 comma 3. Super important that you can go between the two notations in this class. Okay, and then uh, the other big topic in this section is given the graph of a piecewise defined function, write down a formula for it. So a piecewise defined function is kind of exactly what it sounds like. It'll look like uh, a function defined in pieces, like x plus 2 if x is less than 0, and 3x if x is greater than or equal to 0. And so the graph typically will look like, um, you know, different pieces that may or may not join up at a certain point. And so watch video 7. There are also some videos included in your homework. But piecewise defined functions are, again, an important part of this class. All right. 1.3 hopefully is review for you from algebra. I think this whole chapter is actually review, but it never hurts to review. 
um, find the composition of two functions. So composition is different from multiplication. The notation is f of g of x, or some people write f composed with g of x. That round circle means composition. And uh, of particular importance is once you've found the composition, you need to know how to simplify it, especially when the functions are rational. And so I have a video for that. It's video number five, and I strongly suggest you watch that. Okay. And finally, section 1.4 is shifts and reflections. So vertical versus horizontal shifts. So that's video number three. So horizontal shifts are going to be like f of x um, plus or minus some constant, whereas vertical shifts are going to have that constant outside. And then reflections about the x-axis and the y-axis. So that's the distinction between negative, again, where does the minus go? Negative f of x versus f of negative x. And that's talked about in video number four and also some of the homework problems. So that's a review of this week. Well, it's a preview of what you're going to be learning. And I hope you find it enjoyable.